Hello everyone. Welcome back to Geomorphology. The distribution of present day continents and oceans was a major focus of study for the scientists and the geographers in the 17th and in the 18th century. And the continental drift theory is one of the pioneer theories which proposed the present day distribution of land and water. So in today's session, we are going to look into the continental drift theory proposed by Alfred Wegener. The idea of continental drift theory was proposed by Alfred Wegener. He wrote a book called The Origin of Continents and Ocean Basins in German language. In this book, he wrote that he was attracted by the similarity of the opposite coastlines of South Atlantic Ocean when he was looking into Atlas in the year 1912. This made him to analyze the distribution of present-day continents. He found that there is a possibility that all the present seven continents might have joined together as a single landmass in the geological past. Wagner also found earlier scientists giving similar ideas. Taking all these into consideration, Wegner outlined the continental drift theory published in the book in the year 1922. There are a number of points that can be given to explain the reason for Wegner to give his idea on continental drift. The ideas were mentioned by many people even before Wegener. In the year 1620, Francis Bacon observed that the North America was separated from Europe. In the late 1880s, Antonio Snider indicated that the southern continents of South America, Africa and Australia might have been united in the geological past. The most important point for the contribution of this theory is with respect to Darwin's contribution. In his Evolution of Species, Darwin explained the distribution of certain animals in some parts of the world. One was with regard to the distribution of hippopotamus in Africa and Madagascar Island which was separated by about 600 kilometers of open ocean. Another one is the distribution of lemurs, which are a particular type of monkeys found in India, Sri Lanka and Australia and presently separated by open oceans. Today, you can find different types of animals found in Australia, Papua New Guinea, which are also located nearer to each other but separated by open ocean. Zoologists found it difficult to explain the above three distributions. They thought that the land bridges existed to help such a distribution. All these ideas were considered by Alfred Wagner. He also felt that there is a jigsaw fit between the coastlines of Africa and South America. This is the background under which the Wagner proposed the continental drift theory. Let's look into the explanation of this theory. At present, there are seven major continents with different locational distributions. Wagner felt that in the geological past, all the seven continents were joined together to form a single supercontinent. He called it as Pangaea. In this Pangaea, Wegner has identified two groups of land masses, one in the northern part and the other in the southern part. The northern part of the landmass comprised of present-day North America, Europe and Northern Asia up to the north of Himalayas. Wegner called this part as Laurasia or Angara land. The southern group of landmass is called Gondwana land. It comprised of present-day South America, Africa, 
ഓസ്ട്രേലിയ അന്റാർട്ടിക്ക പെനിൻസുല ഇന്ത്യ ആൻഡ് അറേബ്യ ഇൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദീസ് ടു ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് ലാൻഡ് മാസസ് ദർ വാസ് എ ഷാലോ സി കോൾഡ് തിത്തസ് ദ പാൻചിയർ റിമൈൻഡ് ആസ് എ സിംഗിൾ ലാൻഡ് മാസ് അപ് ടു ദ അപ്പർ ട്രയസിക് ഓർ ദ ക്രൊട്ടേഷ്യ സ്പിരിറ്റ് അബൌട്ട് വൺ എയ്റ്റി മില്യൺ ഇയേഴ്സ് എഗോ ദ പാൻചിയർ സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ബ്രേക്കിംഗ് ഡ്യൂ ടു ടു മേജർ ഫോഴ്സസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വാസ് എ സ്ട്രോങ് വെസ്റ്റ് വേൾഡ് ഫോഴ്സ് വിച്ച് ബ്രോക്ക് ദ സൗത്ത് അമേരിക്ക ആൻഡ് നോർത്ത് അമേരിക്ക and pushed them towards the west this created the atlantic ocean in between even here the south america broke first and this is proved by the fact that the atlantic coast is brought between the south america and africa than the north america and europe the another one was the equator wood force which broke the gondwana land and this resulted the equator word movement of africa peninsula india arabia and australia because of the equator word force the shallow sea of tethys was removed the sedimentary deposits under the tethys sea were folded to form the young himalayan and alpine chain of mountains because of these two forces the continents drifted in different directions and have they are present distribution let's look into the major evidences that support the continental drift theory the first one was the young fold mountains in the modern geomorphology the evolution of landforms is important the himalayan mountain chain is a major landform and is a fold mountain this folding is possible only when two compressional forces act towards each other thus the indian peninsula might have moved towards the north eastern part thereby creating the young fold mountains of himalayas thus the presence of young fold mountains gives evidence of drifting of continental areas the second one was the jigsaw fit evidence Wagner gave the jigsaw fit of the opposite coastlines of South Atlantic Ocean. There is a similarity of shape between the Atlantic coast of South America and Africa which may be fitted together. This gives evidence that the South America might have been united with Africa in the geological past. The evidences to support the drift are given from distribution of some of the paleoclimatic evidences one is the distribution of the coal in any area where coal is found it should be sure that these regions will be covered with thick forest and harsh climate at present the siberia is having a very cold climate and so it cannot have thick forest but however in the siberian region you can find good quality of coal deposits this proves that the siberia might have been in a warm climate in the past giving some evidences of drifting of the theory another one is the distribution of tillets all the glacial deposits are collectively called as till over a period of time the till is converted to a rock called tillet at present we have tillets in orissa australia and south america which indicates that these areas would might have been covered with ice in the past the drift theory also gives a possible explanation for the present day tillet rocks fossil is the imprints of animals and vegetation preserved in the sedimentary rocks the analysis of the sedimentary strata is called stratigraphy and fossil plays an important role in the stratigraphy when the stratigraphic analysis was made in the south america and africa the strata which were more than 200 million years old had similar fossils in both areas in contrast to it the strata which was comparatively younger had different fossils in south america compared to africa this is also an indicative to prove that 
the south america and africa were united together 200 million years ago and was separated after that let's look into what are the criticisms against the wegner's ideas a number of criticism were made against the idea of continental drift by the wegner the first one was the westward force assumed by the wegner which is not enough to push the huge landmass of south america and north america it should have been at least 10000 times stronger force then it would have affected the rotation of the earth and might have stopped the earth's rotation at least for an year the equatorward force assumed by the wegner is also not enough to push the continents if we assume such a strong force then there should have been a greater concentration of land in the equatorial region but presently the equatorial region has more oceanic area and lesser land area an answer for this has been given by the wegner he explained that we should not take the present day equator in the past the equator was lying in the northern part of the present day equator where the land area is more the third criticism is about the jigs of it wegner considered the jigs of it of south america and african coastline as the basis for his drift theory but when the actual coastlines of south america and africa were fitted together there was a gap of about 100 kilometers so this evidence is being questioned the another criticism is not against the theory it accepts the wegner's idea but it indicates that there is a better jex of fit existing between the coastlines of northwest europe on one side and greenland north america and elsmere island on the other side then why wegner has not considered that better jex of fit the last criticism accepts all the ideas about the wegner but it ask a simple question that what kept the pangea together till the upper triassic i hope you have enjoyed today's session for any doubts or queries please post in the comment box or in the google classroom i wish everyone a great learning experience thank you